Does your city want to develop actions to regenerate urban areas? Tackle social and economic problems through environmental measures? To find solutions to these challenges, hundreds of cities across Europe are exchanging good practice through the Urbact programme to develop integrated local policies. Two of these cities are Vilnius in Lithuania and Hamburg in Germany. An example of an advanced city is Hamburg, Germany, uh, where they have implemented uh, the EBA approach in, between 2007 and 2013. So the challenge was really to create urban regeneration and other interventions as a test case for uh, carbon neutral uh, future living. The EBA in Hamburg focused on one particular area called Willemsburg, which is a centrally located area in the city, uh, which has been ignored in terms of uh, housing provision for a long time uh, due to the deteriorated housing stock and other environmental problems. The citizen climate change strategy has shown the importance of linking energy modernization of buildings with neighborhood energy strategy. For example, the Energy Atlas has shown that it is possible to use renewable and locally produced energy to meet the demand for electricity of buildings by 2015, as well as almost the entire thermal energy requirement by 2050. Another case is Vilnius, which is in a totally different uh, situation with a capitalistic development model since uh, 25 years and obviously much poorer than, than Hamburg is. So it's very interesting how they try to do something with their green areas. Chaos in urban planning is typical Eastern European uh, situation. Nothing was really properly planned, at least in the past 20 years. After 91, uh, the government didn't have enough money to do anything. The only tool the city has is uh, making plans, investing a bit, uh, making strategies uh, and directing some of the investments. The pilot territory which was, was chosen for our Urbach network reblock, that's about the uh, Jermune Triangle really. This neighborhood is uh, one of the first uh, large-scale housing estate neighborhoods in Vilnius. It was built back in the 60s, uh, 70s. One of the poorest buildings, poorest uh, public spaces. As you can see, these buildings are made of concrete blocks and one of the biggest problems is the summer inside is very hot and during the winter inside is very cold so it is huge temperature differences are really bad not good for our health so the main idea is try to solve that really huge problem which is still existing is the complex uh, renovation of the soviet type uh, houses 99 percent of our flats belongs to 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 residents so mainly residents are responsible for for the buildings. With our project we try to test what happens if we direct this uh, process together with people and the city into the same direction. So we have a local uh, support group uh, and we uh, are dealing with these problems uh, mainly with security, thermal, thermal efficiency and the green environment. The difference between Hamburg and any cities or most cities in the developed world and Vilnius is that the public hand is weak and poor. Weak means that regulatory uh, rights are not given to the municipality and the municipality is, is much, much poorer than, uh, than, for example, Hamburg. There are many things that cities can do to improve their environmental regeneration. They can, for example, ensure that any environmental improvement is affordable for wider sections of the population. They can also try to encourage um, cross-disciplinary and cross-sector thinking in their uh, local administrations in order to really achieve an integrated approach. They can also try to experiment with new policies in lab-style environment as they have done at the EBA in Hamburg and also in Vilnius through the ReBlock project with Urbac. Learn more about what your city can do to deliver sustainable regeneration at urbact.eu.